Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Katza Plays Minecraft 1.19. And as always, greetings from sunny South Africa. There is so much I want to show you guys. So let's start on a quick little tour so that you guys can see what I've been up to. First of all, I want to introduce you guys to Stan. Stan was a zombie at one point and I managed to cure him and now he offers me some great prices on wool, which I've got tons of, so that's great. The other thing I want to show you guys is my nice new armor. As you know, we have a protection for villager and as you can see, I have protection for on all my gear. I've also got Feather Falling 3. Whoa. Now, the other thing I want to show you guys is this pathway. Now, I know it doesn't look like much right now, but I was thinking that maybe this episode, we can spruce it up a little bit and make a really, really nice pathway. Now, as you know, we have a nether roof portal and a nether roof hub. So I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to over here. Really, really exciting, guys. So over here, we have some pathways. Now, these are pathways to key areas which we will be going to quite often. So it just makes it so much easier for us to travel. Now, the brown pathway goes to a dark forest. And that's great because I want to go and get some dark wood, which I have not done yet. But dark oak wood is one of my favorite woods and I want to go and get that pretty soon. Now this pathway leads to our desert village where we have all our great trades. This pathway leads to the ancient city that we already raided and I'd like to go back and forth there quite often because there are a ton of resources there that I haven't even collected yet. Plus it's a really, really easy way to get XP. And yeah, getting XP is really the true wealth of the game, isn't it? Now, this path is probably the most interesting and will be the subject for most of this episode. This pathway leads to the mangrove swamp. That's right, there's a mangrove swamp really, really close to me. I went onto Chunk Base and I found a mangrove swamp. And I'm really excited because I've never been to one. So we're going to be going to the mangrove swamp. We're going to be getting some frogs and we're going to be breeding with tadpoles and frogs. And as you can see, this place is hopping with magma cubes. So I'm thinking frog lights. I really, really want frog lights. Now we can create a manual frog light farm at first. And then after that, we might make an automatic one. We'll just see how it goes. But yeah, getting a few frog lights in the beginning of the game, really, really exciting stuff. So let's head off to the mangrove swamp right now. Let's go get some of that great wood because I'd love to build with some of that wood. And let's also go and get us some tadpoles. Wow, guys, my first time in a mangrove swamp. I'm so thrilled about this. And we have a visitor. Hello. Good to see you. Obviously, these trees are very weirdly shaped, but I think we should gather some of this wood. I'd like to get two stacks of mangrove logs now i think this is just root so i don't think we can really do anything with this can we mangrove roots okay so these are just the roots and this over here is the actual wood so i want to get about two stacks of this wood just to keep around the base i think i can find something to do with it it's a really great color so i'm looking forward to using it for one of our builds <laughs> mangrove roots that's not something i was ever aware of so this is obviously where the tree grew and we have muddy mangrove roots so that looks like it's probably a decorative block but maybe it has some other uses i guess we'll have to find out here we have the mangrove propolis there it is mangrove prop propagule sorry so the mangrove propagule will be our sapling for mangrove trees so that we can grow them wherever we want. So that's great too. 
and we have moss carpet and of course we have all this mud over here now i really like building with mud bricks i know it's not everyone's favorite material but i think it's one of the nicest ones so i'm definitely going to be using that too And as you can see, we have white frogs. Now, white frogs will give us pearlescent frog lights. So I definitely want to breed with them. I'm actually going to quickly make a crafting table and get myself a bucket because I have some raw iron with me. So we are going to breed these frogs right here, gather ourselves some tadpoles and bring them back to our base. But I also know that the color of the frog will depend on where you raise it so we might have to raise some of them over here and some of them at our base and then others will have to raise in an ice biome if we want green frogs we have to do that in an ice biome so we'll definitely be running around doing some of that but uh, yeah that'll probably be in a future episode for now i just want to get buckets of tadpoles and keep them uh, so that we can breed them later on and what we might actually do is perhaps just take these white frogs right through into the nether and have them eat a few magma cubes and get some frog lights. I think that's a great idea. Let's head back to base and get some slime. We're going to use that slime to breed with the frogs and hopefully get ourselves a bunch of tadpoles, which we can keep for later breeding. So we just want to make a small little breeding area for them over here and that will be where they'll lay their eggs grab some water put it over there get some more water and this will do for now so we just want a few tadpoles right now so let's give these guys some of the slime yes you want the slime don't you let's bring them to the water and let's get happy okay now one of the frogs will move towards the water and lay eggs first i thought it was that one but now it looks like it's gonna be this one is there something wrong with this water maybe okay they didn't lay eggs that's weird let's maybe expand that water a little bit oh we have company Oh, look at that. One of them laid eggs already. So now all we need to do is wait for these eggs to hatch and we can collect them with a bucket of water and put some more iron here to make more buckets. So we'll have four buckets of water full of tadpoles and we can keep these tadpoles for a later stage when we want to make frog lights. And while I'm waiting for my tadpoles to hatch, I'm going to collect some of this mud. Excellent, the eggs hatched and we have two tadpoles. Now let's collect them, there we go. And we get the advancement, bucket buckets. And we have two tadpoles. So let's see if we can breed with these guys again. They don't seem comfortable enough to lay eggs for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. But uh, I've bred with frogs before, never seem to have a problem. So I'm not really sure why this little lady doesn't want to lay her eggs. Is the water dirty? Is the water too dirty for you? That is super weird. <laughs> is this a bug? I think this might be a bug, guys. Some kind of game glitch or something. <laughs> Maybe he's just really happy. <laughs> I've never seen a frog do that before. There we go. We have more frog eggs. That's a relief. I'm starting to think these two are never going to breed. Now, I also definitely want some lily pads because I think they can come in handy for our sugarcane farm. So let's grab a bunch of these as well. 
Okay, we suddenly have two batches of eggs and these guys just hatched. So that's great. So let's collect some more. I actually want to keep some of them here for obvious reasons. And take these tadpoles to another area and make orange frogs. So I think we got quite a lot of cool stuff here. My inventory is totally full. Uh, let's go back home and breed with our frogs. I guess the next thing we need to do is build a frog house. Okay guys, the frog habitat is all done. Let's go and have a look inside and let's make this the new home for our future frogs. So I think these froggies are gonna be very happy in here. We just need to make sure that they are safe and happy and that they don't escape. And I think all we need to do now is wait for these guys to grow up and then we can breed with them a little bit further. So I'm going to go and get some slime and wait for these guys to grow up. Now I'm not entirely sure if they're going to be orange or white because I don't know if this is considered a mesa, but I think it's just considered a savanna because of the terrain here. So more than likely they will be orange frogs, which is great. I think they look really happy in their new home. Now, as soon as they have grown up, I'm going to breed with them, get some more eggs. And this place should be filled with frogs pretty soon. So nether hub traveling just makes things so much easier, guys. I have to admit that getting the resources for all of this was so easy. The glowberries I got from the lush cave at the ancient city. The vines I got from the swamp, from the mangrove swamp. And everything else, as you can see, the mud bricks, mangrove swamp as well. And everything else was pretty easy to get. The drip leaf I also got from the lush caves. Now the mossy cobblestone, I managed to find a taiga forest right next to the dark oak forest. So that was great. I really wanted to use mossy cobblestone in here. And as you guys can see, it looks really great. The frogs are going to be so happy in here and we're going to be breeding lots of them so that we can get frog lights. And we have, we have white frogs, guys. So that means white frogs breed in the savannah. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's good to know. I must say I'm really happy to have white frogs because orange frogs are easy enough to get at any other biome besides the ice biome and we're going to have to take some of the tadpoles to the ice biome to get green frogs but I'm thrilled with the fact that we have white frogs. Hello guys! 
Okay, so let's breed up these froggies and let's get some more tadpoles. Let me just bring this guy. Hello. Okay, everybody gather over here. So this means we're going to have pearlescent frog lights once we feed magma cubes to these guys. There we go. We have eggs. So we'll just leave these here to hatch and we'll have this place hopping with frogs pretty soon and there's our next batch of eggs perfect now the next thing i really want to work on is the pathway so let's do that for the rest of this episode it's been a nice peaceful episode and i'd like to keep it that way considering what happened in the last episode so let's go and work on that pathway i really like doing pathways uh, it's a lot of fun for me, so let's do it step by step and see if we can make that pathway a little bit nicer. So I've gathered a few resources. Let's go and see what we can do to make that pathway a bit more aesthetically pleasing. So I kind of like the idea of these acacia trees being right next to the pathway, but I was thinking maybe we need a few more. So let's plant this over here just to kind of create a bit of a covering. And then let's see if we can grow glowberries down these. Let's do another tree over here. Some glowberries. And I think two more trees should be enough. Just like that. And just like that. Okay, so now it looks a little bit more like a foresty kind of pathway. Let's just add glowberries to all of these as well. That way we have more than enough light coming from this pathway. And I think that's going to look really, really nice. Okay, this one is going to be in the way, so let's let's do that there. And let's maybe remove this tree and put one over here rather. Right over here. There we go. Some glowberries on this one. And that should do it for now. I really like this. Some of these trees are nice and big, which I like. I'm thinking we need one more over here though. So, okay, this one will just have to grow naturally. Let's just put a torch next to it. Okay, so when that one grows, I think it'll look really nice. And once these glowberries start forming on the vines then we'll have more light on the sides of the park which i think will look really great so let's move on now to putting some leaves around this pathway so with leaves what i usually do is i just keep placing them until it looks right i like the way that looks as you can see i have fast graphics or not fancy graphics but we can always switch that just to see what it looks like with fancy graphics. To be honest, I kind of prefer the way the leaves look this way. And I know I am in the minority when it comes to that. So we want the leaves to be kind of close to the pathway. Let's actually go and get some more of these leaves. Oh, we have a zombie villager. Let's get him trapped in our house name tag him and convert him and see if we can get some really good traits from this guy
So I'm going to remove the trap doors so that he can't get out. You can come in. You can come in. Hello. Oh, there we go. In you go. And let's close him in. Now, last time I did this, he successfully climbed a ladder. And I just want to see if I can name tag him very quickly. You will be known as Roy. But let me first see if I have everything to convert him now. I know I have a golden apple at least. There we go. Oh, there it is. Potion of weakness. So let's convert this guy. Hello, Roy. Well, you're not going to be Roy anymore, are you? Okay, so I'll just leave him in here to change into a normal villager and then we will put him in a boat and we will get him up there somehow and start trading with him. Hello. You'll be okay soon. I've already done this once, so I already have the zombie doctor achievement, but this is kind of what I enjoy doing Instead of zombifying my existing villages, I just like waiting for a naturally generated zombie villager to show up and then cure him. That's why I always keep name tags handy, because that can be a very valuable asset. There we go. And we're safe. And he should be turning back into a normal villager very soon. A few moments later. And there we go. He has turned into a villager. And all we need to do now is give him a fisherman job. But I'm going to leave him here for now. And go and finish the pathway. Because I think that is enough distraction for one day. So already I think our pathway is looking a little bit more transformed. So all I want to do now is put some hay bales down here and mix it in with some of the leaves uh, feels like something's missing here but let's come back to that one actually let's do that that looks nice there we go and maybe do that no now, the other thing I really want to do is I have a flowering azalea here and I would love to plant it somewhere along this pathway. So I was thinking this little spot over here. Let's bone meal that. And we have an azalea tree, which I think looks really nice over here as well. Just gives it a bit of a pop. And let's place some more hay bales over here. Let's do that. That kind of looks cool. Uh, if I had more iron, I would do it all over the place. But uh, yeah, I'm very short of iron at the moment. I've been neglecting the iron farm since the beginning. So uh, we need to do that soon. But anyway, that looks okay for now. Let's uh, add some glowberries there. I also want more glowberries down here. There we go. So these will grow and form glowberries naturally at some point as well. Now, the beginning of the pathway is a little bit bare still, but this is looking much better. I'm so happy with this. Much, much, much better. And I just want to add a few more of these. Okay, so this tree grew. That's perfect. Let's add some glowberries to this one as well. There we go. So it's going to look really nice. And there we go. So it just looks a little bit better. Put some more over here. Maybe diagonal over here. Put 
much better. And there we have our new pathway. I think it looks nice, much nicer than it did look anyway. And I really like this azalea tree over here. That looks super cool. And there we go. Okay, so now we have something nice to look at every time we run to the nether roof portal. Makes things look a little bit nicer, don't you think? That's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support and the views and the likes and the subscribes. So if you'd like to catch the next episode, make sure that you do subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this episode and if you like Minecraft frogs, please hit the like button. See you guys next time. Bye.